So, so Fina, you've done a few things, right? You've yes. done you've done a few. Which which sort of element of your career did you enjoy the most? Mm. It really depends. I mean, to me, it's all one creative impulse. So whether I'm writing, <coughs> broadcasting, or acting, I like things where I'm... Because writing is talking, as far as I'm concerned. And yeah. As you see, mouthy, I like to talk. So. Footballers' Wives, that was a big break? That was really good. Did you enjoy that? I really, really did How long did were enjoy. you in that for? We, I did one season, the end season. They slashed yeah. me. You know, they, they, yeah, I got a bottle in the face, so that was... <laughs> That's a good way to go, though. It, it, it was, well, we all went, actually. They yeah, just the pulled show, the plug. Yeah, the show went, didn't it? Yeah, I think we got to the top and they went, well, how can you top that? So they said, let's just go now. Yeah, it was a top, top class. Yeah, I loved it. <laughs> Ho Holly Oaks as well? Holly Oaks was different. It was harder. <laughs> was it a harder show to be a part well, of? Well, at the time I had a two-year-old child and it kind of ended strangely badly. Yeah. Which we won't go into, but uh, basically uh, I was there for six months. I was going to, they renewed me for another six months and changed their mind. So oh. my ego got a bit battered about that one. Yeah, that's a tough one. It's just, oh, it happens. But, you're, but you've got a beautiful boy who is now, how old is he? He's nearly four. Oh. He's nearly four years Paolo. old. Paolo. Oh, baby oh. Mariani. And who's the beautiful boy in the middle? Oh, Stefano Mariani. <laughs> Buongiorno, amore. <laughs> Buongiorno, come stai? You know him then? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Met him before now, you know. Yeah. He's your Italian man. He's my Italian stallion. He's Italian. So, <laughs> oh, I see. You asked him for a model look. <laughs> well, that's, that's, right that's there, my really. favourite model look. You know, over the shoulder, you look thin. And, I'm talking yeah. about him. Oh, right. Oh, right. <laughs> right. Oh, Charlie. <laughs> I thought I was getting some love you know, there. That was a, that's a wonderful shot. That really is. Mm. Uh, this is your book, Liberating uh, Character. And uh, so was this an easy thing to write? I'll answer that question for you. No, it wasn't. Uh, no, it wasn't really, because it was just talking about... <clears throat> Um, how God has moved me from a tough situation that I was born into and to succeed. And what I'm hoping it will do is for people who uh, read it, if you're living in a tough situation, like the, a lot of the kids are rioting and going mad and there's a lot of quiet desperation going on. Yeah. But there's, there's, there's more. You can go out there and get more and you can pray and you can get some help and you can get out there. It's... Um, online at lulu.com it's called liberating character she says quick plug <laughs> i love it I oh love you it. have i was thinking about it last night um i think if you've got an issue within the family <clears throat> that keeps coming at you keeps coming at you keeps coming at you i think you have every right to first of all try and resolve the problem try your hardest right exodus uh, 2012 says honor your mother and father and i think you should but sometimes it just simply can't be there's something long long standing between the two of you or more fracturous through the family addiction mm -hmm. for example how does one person think about this person's addiction or something like that and i th frankly you have to rest you have to take some time off and pray about it and go away don't be disrespectful Mm -hmm. Hope, hope to, to get to a peaceful place, but if you're not there and every time you go to that house or you go and spend time with those people, you're sad, mm. you're depressed, Destructive. you're hurt, you come away feeling low about yourself, I think you should pick up your British chick and run. Indefinitely? Mm. Yeah. No, not indefinitely, because you should always leave the door open for yeah. reconciliation. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But, but, but we're forgetting that there are people that have... Um, that have been born into families that, that are destructive. I was born into a family of, where an alcoholic run, 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 run rampant. My older sister has third degree dip burns on her body. Mm -hmm. Are we supposed to stay with him? I don't think so. You know, well, that's taking uh, yourself out of harm's way, isn't yes, it? That's it's what not, it's not on a whim. Saying. You didn't do no, this just not because. On a whim. No, and it's But it's, even still, it's really painful. And even still, you want daddy and you want mommy and you want things to be great because you're yeah. hardwired to do so. But I say that if you have a problem in your family and you're getting hurt, step mm. back. 